the real experiencer of anything in an individualistic way is neither the self nor the physical body. It is a mind that is the center of individuality that individualizes and imprisons a ray of the Atman in what is called the individual soul. And it is a mind and embodied in the subtle body that undergoes the pleasure of heaven or the pains of hell or for that matter any experience through a gross or a subtle body. The mind appears to have consciousness on account of there being the ray of the Atman in it, in the form of a reflection very much limited by its own constitution. Hence, it will be clear that the individuality of a person is as much real or unreal as a reflection of a real object. Though everything happens according to the Supreme Will, the karma of the individual determines the form or shape of the experience that is to be had under the dispensation of this will. It is not the Atman or the body that has any type of relative experience. Though the body is a gross means of experience, it is the mind that has all this. Swami Shivananda